A follow-up to our coverage from yesterday after a structure fire in downtown Charleston left 14 people homeless. Crews responded Tuesday to an apartment building next to the Confederate Home and College on Broad Street. That fire was put out and those living there have been put in temporary housing with the fire still being investigated. News 2's Danielle Seda has the latest details. Yesterday's fire on Broad Street engulfed the hallway of this building's third floor. Officials tell me that as they were putting out that fire, they and the residents noticed visible flames across the hallway along with some dark black smoke. Right now, officials say the cause of this chaos hasn't been determined yet, but they think they've discovered the origin. We've narrowed the origin down to a small area within the kitchen. Uh, however, there are a number of appliances in that area. But at this point in time, we have no reason to believe that the fire was anything other than accidental. Fire Marshal Mike Jalazada tells me the person living in that unit was not home at the time. And luckily, people living on the third floor were able to evacuate safely. Board of Trustee members who run this apartment believe it's because these tenants were prepared a year in advance. But you always know that realistically, something like this can happen. And that was why we reached out to the fire department last year. The members from our fire marshal's office provided training to property management and to the residents. And when it happened, they knew what to do. They got out, and as a result, nobody, even though they were many of them in their apartments at the time, nobody was injured. Both officials and property managers say they're thankful everyone is safe. But before they can welcome back their tenants, there's more to do like determining that cause. We've halted our investigation effort right now because we now need to wait for the insurance company and their investigators to join us and hopefully be able to dig into a little bit further. In downtown Charleston, Danielle Seda, count on two. The people who were displaced by the fire are currently being assisted by the Red Cross. Meanwhile, property managers will be looking at next step toward reoccupancy within the next few weeks.